Okay, so here's the um, box jig that I built with the router. Um, basically, it's just attached to my messy ass bench here, and it's a square. Um, it's only attached at the front here, um, and it has a stop bar in the back. But besides that, it's just a square that you know my router um, connects directly to. Um, and then this is going to go on top, like kind of like a sleigh to slide back and forth. Um, and it's got the front wall here that the router could use to hold the, uh, the side wall in place. So it's going to be really hard to see here, but ultimately we're using that catch here as our bar as we feed in the uh the sheet and you can see there's a bunch of tear out there so you want to have an extra wall once you get the placement right you want to you want to clamp this down get the placement right um you know because if it's if it if you're moving it over steadily and it gets too loose then you want to tighten it so you want to move this board um it'd be away from the drill um, and then if you want to, you know, get it tighter than, or sorry, looser than you'd move it closer. So you're making those pegs smaller, but I mean, micro adjustments go a long way. Um, and then once it's set right, you just screw the board into your sleigh. And I mean, all you're doing is slide it back and forth. Um, and see where that's where the stop bar comes in. So it doesn't end up sliding all the way through here. Um, so you end up hitting your stop bar and you know just slide it through move the board over slide it through move the board over you know rinse repeat when you get to the end you have to put the end of a board here to start a new board so it's the opposite pattern so just remember you know every other board you have to start um, with a board on the end to give you the space correct but that's the idea um, and it didn't really cost me anything. I used like old wood, um, waxed this sleigh part up really nicely, and you know, just drove it out, drove out the channel using the actual bit, um, and then put the uh, found a peg size that works. Um, it doesn't even have to be snug as long as it's spaced incorrectly and holds tight into your sleigh board. Um, you're good. So you can see where I. Um, you know, it's getting shoot out. It's probably not going to last forever. Um, and this is probably the first one I did as a test, but yeah, I mean, it's not pretty. Um, and my shop is fucking wrecked, but it works.